Hi everyone, this is going to be a video about my first graders work box. Um, what we've done for uh, the few days already this week. So um, I'm going to start with his phonics. So he's worked on the ER sound. <clears throat> and then it's just sentences that he has needed to read. Um, hold on a second, my son's crying. Sorry about that. And the noise in the back, if you hear him crying, he's grounded. So he has brother with a sword over the head <laughs> um anyways uh for fun um we got this book from the library and i know it's not easter but he wanted to use it and you basically go through the pages you're supposed to find the easter bunny on each page and um when you find him the easter bunny usually has like little things that he's holding um to give you clues and he's been writing them down so He's done already uh, four of these pages, so he writes down what the Easter Bunny is holding until he gets to the end of the book. So that's what he's doing with that book. <clears throat> um, and then we go on to writing. So for writing, he did a riddle. So uh, the riddle was, what flower is kissable? And the answer was tulip. And those are the only words, uh, letters that he had to write from the word. And then he did his 180 days of writing. So he started with this page where all he had to do was write who, where, when, and then think of two events. And then they talked about the winter weather. And then over here he had to use those events that he used yesterday and actually create kind of like a little paragraph. <clears throat> and then I'm going to show you uh, the spelling. So we're using spelling power as I was showing you before. And let me get to here. so he did his placement test and he got them all wrong. I've said that before. And then um, I went to placement B to see how he did on that. He still did a bunch of them wrong. So then I went to placement A. Um, over here he only had two wrong. So because he only had two wrong, the actual test tells you to give him the level B, which we already did. So then I just went by this one. And then this one sent us to take... Um, a certain group of words. So from that group of words, he just kept going and going and going until um, we ended up with eight words, which are the ones that he's actually using for the week. Um, and then his eight words, I wrote them on a little post-it notes, and I made him this game on the computer. If anybody wants it, just let me know. And basically it has like the different types of writing, markers, pens, crayons, pencil, color pencils. And he just spins kind of like a little paper clip and it tells him what to use for the activities that are on the board here. So um, for today, he ended up doing the ABC order in markers. <clears throat> so he just picked um, his blue marker and did that. And he already picked his game for tomorrow, and I will show that uh, when I do the next video. Okay. <laughs> Tried to get some quiet, and kids keep uh, doing stuff. Uh, the next thing um, he's done is reading. So for um, the past couple days, he read Look at Chameleon and The Cat in the Hat. And what he did for that was he did his little picture of the chameleon and the cat in the hat kids. That was for his reading, and then he also, for reading, had to do a reading comprehension. And for here, <clears throat> he basically reads and he answers the questions, except when he's answering the questions, he's making up um, answers to them, as he did over here. So he's going to have to uh, redo this when we get to school uh, tomorrow. So that was his reading. Let me move this. Then it's his math, um, so he did his lessons for CLE, and he did lesson uh, 28. <clears throat> and 20, he also did lesson 29 today. Um, and he also do, does uh, speed drills there in the back. We also go over um, the shapes, how many lines, um, how many corners, etc. cetera. Um, he also played a game um, where we, are, we deal each other five cards, so each of us has five cards, and basically each of us also has these three signed cards that I made with those paint chips. Um, the point of the game is you grab whatever numbers from your cards, let's say these were part of my cards, and then I'll just make an equation with it, and then I solve it real fast, 
and then I take these cards out of the game and then I'm left with like three cards so I'll use those to make an equation solve it and put it away then you're left with one so what we did is um, each of us threw the card down and then somebody had to real quick think of a fact and get rid of those cards and that was the winner of the game um, so that's the game he played for math and then he also has this money cup this is what um, CLE uses so I pretty much just recycle the cup and it's got the money in there and he figures out how much money's in there and he writes it in his work box. So that's um, what he did for math. For history, we're talking about land and water. So we basically went over um, our chapter and our questions. Um, I printed out a chart uh, from online, like those charts the teachers make, and I just made copies. And I also did um, the continents. So we go over my chart, my anchor chart, um, daily while we're reading that chapter. Um, he also has um, these cards where um, it tells him the definition of what it is, and then he has to figure out um, what picture goes to it. Right now it has the name, and um, he... He did this today, and all I did was read this, and he found the cards, and he's doing really good with this, but I don't want to take the names out because his brother will use them later. Um, he also did a worksheet, and it was about land and water, so he just um, basically put the names on here because he didn't want he didn't feel like cutting. So he then uh, colored up his uh, landmarks <clears throat> and his watermarks, and um, that was it for that. And then he also played this file folder game. That I just printed. Oops, sorry, that I just printed the map of, and he just used pretty much um, the cards of the oceans and the continents and things like that, and just had to put them where they belonged. So that is what he did for history. This big box now is our science. Um, so today he got introduced to nature study, um, and I made him this little folder, and it has some worksheets in it. I found this one online, so as he's learning about all these insects, he will um, be putting them into this worksheet that I made, and um, he'll just either paste a picture or draw it himself, and then fill out the information that he needs to for whatever animal we're studying or whatever he finds in nature. Um, today I had him, because I introduced him uh, to our new uh, unit study, I had him go around the house and actually look for things that he's going to be able to use to do his experiments or his looking for bugs or whatever it is that we do outside. So he has plastic bottle, he has magnifying glass, tape, scissors, a jar to collect bugs in, he's excited about that, flashlight, um, a thermometer, a ruler, he's got an animal encyclopedia to look into, and a clipboard for when he does uh, treasure hunts, which is what he has to do tomorrow. Um, and that is it. That's what we did for nature study as far as today, and this will be our new science, so stay tuned so you can see everything that he does. Um, anyways, thank you for watching. Um, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.